Hi everyone, my name is Mark Clark, personal trainer at Hab Half Fitness based in Eastbourne, East Sussex. We have a private gym that helps men and women in Eastbourne over 30 live happier and healthier lives. Um, today what I want to show you is a lot of uh, my clients um, and people in general have got sedentary lives, uh, they sit down a lot, and what they suffer from is tight shoulders and all the traps of being overworked, obviously to try and keep the shoulders in line, everything's been drawn forward. So we've got that, that kyphotic high curve. So we're trying to take the pressure off the shoulders and lengthen the strength of the muscles to hold you up in nice good posture, okay? So I can show you a couple of exercises which we do with the clients. Uh, using a stick, a uh, band, and a wall drill, we can get the shoulders, the shoulders a lot stronger. So first of all, we're gonna warm up on the floor. So I'm just gonna adjust the camera so you can see me. Okay, so obviously on the floor, what we're gonna do is just do some T-spine rotations to warm up the middle of the back, get the shoulders nice and loose. So obviously from here, all we're going to do is just kneel on the cloth. So I'm going to put my uh, left leg down, so that's my weaker side, and I'm going to bring my right hand and down towards my right ankle. So I'm just going to rotate through my spine really to warm up the shoulders and get my spine nice and loose. So the hand comes underneath, I'm just going to rotate through. You breathe out as you come round. Hold that. And breathe out a little bit more. So you breathe in, and you're breathing out in front of the hand, rotating out. Just loose up the middle of the back, that T spine, and then get the shoulders opened up and over the front of the chest. So, obviously, we repeat that both sides, and we'll do that five times each side. It's just making sure we warm, obviously, get that T spine rotation, take the pressure off the shoulders over the front of the chest before we do any kind of mobilisation work. So, um, what I've got is a couple of sticks I've used uh, for a short and a long stick. So I'm going to start with the short stick first of all. So you guys obviously can use a, a broom stick at home. You can buy a bit of sticks, only about a pound from anywhere. So we're going to work on the external rotation and internal rotation of the shoulder girdle. So just want to loosen those shoulders up, get a lot stronger. So with your stick, or those who play golf, use a golf club, use a driving iron, we just hold that, so reverse grip it. So I'm gonna bring it behind my arm, so just make a muscle arm, grab the stick underneath. So from here, all I wanna do is push against the stick, don't let the body rotate, keep a nice neutral spine, and then from there, I'm gonna breathe in, and breathe out. Just pull the stick, so I'm pulling the stick upwards, Externally rotating my arm, so literally uh, what I'm trying to do is lengthen the muscles in front of my shoulder. So I'm trying to really just open up the shoulders. So I'm going to hold that. 30 seconds after it's relaxed, we can do it one more time. So breathing in, pull down, and breathe out. And just relax and hold it in again. Okay, so we're really trying to open up the front of those shoulders. So I'm trying to lengthen the muscles in the front. Okay, so all around the pecs. So once you've done external movement, we need to do internal movement as well. So what we do is hold the stick reverse way. So bring that from the back of the arm, grab the top of the stick, bring that above the head. So what you do from here is hold the stick again, nice and high. And then what you do from here is you're going to push the stick forward. Okay, so you're pushing the stick forward, you're trying to internally rotate. So literally what we're trying to do is the back of the shoulder, all around the shoulder girdle, we're trying to lengthen the muscles and literally take the pressure off them. So we get better mobilisation through the shoulder girdle. Again, I so say breathing in and breathing out, pulling that through. So it's quite an exercise to do, might be a little bit stiff to begin with, but the more mobile we are, obviously the more easier it is to push or push on above the head. And then so we just do that a couple of times and then relax and swap sides. So again, it's 30 second hold. Once the pressure's off, breathe in again, take the pressure in a bit more, breathe out, just let it relax, okay? So that's with the smaller stick. So, um, the larger stick here, so it's called dislocators, not dislocating the shoulders. All we're trying to do is get them on my arm. So, hold the stick, obviously, my hands are outside the shoulders. What I want to do is bring the stick above the head. And then from here, keep the arms as straight as you possibly can, and go as far over your head as you possibly can. So, I'm literally coming over the back. I'm not leaning forward, I'm not showing my ribs, I'm literally pushing ribs down and keeping my core nice and tight. So we're coming over the body. So we're opening up the front of the chest, front of the shoulders for the stretch, and back over again. And as we're coming over again, open the shoulder blades up, and then you're coming down underneath. Okay, so you get that rotation. So you can open them up. 
So it's nice and slow, controlled movement, breathing in, breathing out. Just let your body relax. Just let it dislocate, it's okay, not to strain the shoulders, but try and open them up, get more relaxed for you so you have better posture. So once you've done that, again, do dislocators, uh, nice and controlled, 10 times over the body, breathing in and breathing out. So your body's relaxed as you come over. So now we're going to use a band, just going to adjust the camera for you. So I've got a band over here. So I'm working on retraction of the shoulders. So if you can get the muscles around the shoulders, we'll be able to, a lot stronger, actually hold them in place a lot better and bring our shoulders back and give that nice good posture. So I've got a band here, so I'm going to wrap my hands into the band. And then from here, I'm just going to push my hips out behind me. Now for me, I want to practice, this, this is where your brain will want to bend the arms and pull through the back. That's the strongest part. We're not going to do that, we're going to learn to retract the shoulders and hold them into place. So that again gives a better posture for the shoulders. So from here, we're going to pull the shoulders back and retract them. Just hold that there. Just try and get nice and strong through the shoulders. As you get the arms nice and straight, okay, so you're not pulling through the biceps, pulling through the back of the shoulders. Hold it for 10 seconds, and then just relax it and stretch, relax. Okay, so, and again after 10 seconds, pull that through, retract the shoulder blades, so we strengthen up the muscles all around the shoulder girdle. That way you can get better posture, and obviously get less pressure off the top of the back. Stop that, obviously, kyphotic curve, and then come forward again. So I'm going to retract the shoulders, and then, then retract. Okay, so make sure it's a good exercise to do. We want to dig in with, we want to pull with the biceps first, but we're going to get the brain, open new pathways up, and then pull them back. And come forward again. Again, do that 10 times, nice and slow and controlled. I already feel my shoulders are starting to loosen up, and I open up more. So this is a good drill to do, especially when you're doing any pressing work, we're just making sure that we're pressing in that strong position, not pressing up above the head, because then it's really tight and the traps take over, we don't want that. Want the shoulders to work properly, okay? And I'm going to do a basic mobility drill against the wall over here. So it's going to show you. Follow me over here. So this one will probably be quite hard to see, but what I'm trying to do is I'm going to stand against the wall. My hips, my back, my head, shoulders contact against the wall. So I'm going to come into an L shape, retract the shoulder blades back, and then from here, all I want to be doing is pushing my hands up, so extending through the elbow, and as far as I can, keep control, keep everything in contact against the wall. As soon as something starts coming off, I start flexing the wrist, as soon as my shoulders start coming forward, away from the wall, I stop. So I'm checking my range of movement, so I come down again, just below shoulders, and then come back up again, so extend all the way up, go as high as you possibly can against the wall, and come down again, so you're breathing in, and breathing out, go as hard as you can, Breathe in again, come down, so you're increasing that range. So as we get the range it's better, we can play with holding the bar above the head, maybe we can press the bar above the head without leading back too much, with the bar coming forward, we when it's really tight and short, so we need to open up the shoulders, get the muscles obviously stronger and more flexible in the front, and a lot stronger in the back to hold us better position, especially when we're pressing the work, okay? So, I'll just quick show you, against the wall. So again, just pushing my bar against the wall, keep it nice and tight, and from here, breathing in, Sliding my hands up against the wall, keeping strict position so I go as high as I can, but then obviously I'm coming up the wall, hold that, breathing in, breathing in, coming down again, take the pressure off. So always keep the shoulders in retraction, strengthen the muscles around there, so you get a better posture, obviously for our daily lives, because I know we get really tight all around the top of the traps, all around the shoulders, everything gets drawn forward, um, and then we complain about the back pain, shoulder pain. We can't lift things properly, always tight, muscles are being overworked at the back, muscles are weak in the front, the whole in obviously a good body positions. So I have to try this drill at home. Um, we'll use a band. Uh, we use band material with our clients. Uh, so ladies and gents, obviously you come training with us, you can get the bands from us. Uh, use your sticks. Um, and I hope that really helps. So just give that a good uh, give that a go. Um, try it out, let us know what you think. Uh, leave comments, uh, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Have a Half Venice, um, and I'll hopefully see you again soon. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye. -bye.